Sairam children, good morning. So we will continue with our chapter 2, parallel lines and transversal. So let's revise. This is based on the what we have studied in the previous session. We have studied about properties of angles formed by two parallel lines and the transversal. So this activity which is given the form of linda blanks is based on the properties of angles. First one, each pair of corresponding angles formed by two parallel lines and their transversal is of dash angles. So what is the answer? Yes, congruent. So we know when two parallel lines are intersected by a transversal, a pair of corresponding angles form are congruent. So here each pair of corresponding angles formed by two parallel lines and the transversal is of congruent angles. Answer is congruent. Next, each pair of alternate angles formed by two parallel lines and the transversal is of dash angles. Yes children, what about alternate angles? They are also congruent. So here answer is congruent. Each pair of alternate angles formed by two parallel lines and the transversal is of congruent angles. Now third one. Each pair of interior angles formed by two parallel lines and their transversal is of dash angles. So what about interior angles? Interior angles are supplementary. So here answer is supplementary. Each pair of interior angles formed by two parallel lines and their transversal is of supplementary angles. This we have studied in previous session. Now we will continue with our practice set 2.2. Third question. In the adjoining figure, line P is parallel to line Q. Line L is parallel to line M. Find measures of angle A, angle B and angle C using the measures of given angles. Justify your answers. So here we have been given two parallel lines that is two pairs. One is line P parallel to line Q. So these two lines are parallel. These two lines are parallel and also L and M is also parallel. And angle A we have to find, angle B we have to find, angle C we have to find. And one measure is given that is 80 degree. And we have to justify answers. Means we have to give the reason. So here we will be mentioning which parallel lines we are taking and which transversal we are taking. So here line L is parallel to line Q and line L is transversal. So this line L is transversal. P parallel to Q and line L is a transversal. Now you see measure angle A and 80 degrees given other angles measure. So what is the relation between them? These angles are interior angles. And what is the property of interior angles? They are supplementary. So we will be writing 80 degree plus measure angle A is equal to 180 degree. And the reason interior angles. And we have to solve this equation part. Measure angle A is equal to 180 degree minus 80 degree. So measure angle A is equal to 100 degree. So we got the measure. Yes, now next is line L is parallel to line M and P is a transversal. So this is a line L, this is a line M. And which is a transversal taken? P. So... Now you can see your angle C and 80 degree. What relation they are having? They are exterior alternate angles. And we know exterior angles are outer the parallel lines. These are the parallel lines and they are in the outer side. And they are in the opposite direction. So they are exterior alternate angles. So measure angle C is equal to 80 degree. The reason is exterior alternate angles. Next is line P parallel to line Q and line M is the transversal. 
Now this is our P, this is our Q. Line P and line Q parallel. M is a transversal. So see this M now. M is a transversal. Now what relation B and C are having? Now B and C are corresponding angles. And angle C is measure we got. It is 80 degree. So if C is 80, C and B are corresponding angles, right? And if C is 80 degree, then measure angle B will also be 80 degree. So we have got the values of A, B, C. And justification also we have given. That is in the bracket we wrote. The interior. Next question. In the adjoining figure, line A is parallel to line B. Line L is a transversal. Find the measures of angle X, angle Y, angle Z using the given information. So here, what is given? Which lines are parallel? Line A, line B. These two lines are parallel and line L is the transversal. And one of the information it is given, this angle is 105 degree. Now, 105 degree and angle Z, what relation they are having? They both are angles in linear pair. And what is the property of angles in linear pair? They are supplementary. So, measure angle Z plus 105 is equal to 180 degree. Now we have to solve this equation. Measure angle Z is equal to 180 degree minus 105 degree. So subtract now. The answer is 75 degree. Measure angle Z is equal to 75 degree. Now next part. Once we have mentioned line A is parallel to line B and L is the transversal. There only one transfer is there. So no need to write again here in this sub. Now what relation angle Z is having with 105? So they are corresponding angles. So measure angle X is equal to 105 degree. The reason is corresponding angles. So we got the measure X 105 degree. Now what relation X and Y are having? You can see that they are vertically opposite angles. And property of vertically opposite angles? They are congruent. So measure angle X is equal to measure angle Y. The measures are equal. The reason they are vertically opposite angles. Now since measure angle X is 105 degree and we have got from here. So measure angle X is equal to 105 degree. Therefore, measure angle Y is equal to 105 degree. So, the answers are measure angle X is equal to 105 degree. Measure angle Y is equal to 105 degree. Measure angle Z is equal to 75 degree. Now, we will start with practice set 2.3. And this is based on the construction. So this is the construction here. First question. Draw a line L. Take a point A outside the line. Through point A, draw a line parallel to given line. So this is a construction that where we have to draw a line parallel to the given line. So let's see the construction. So, measure angle X is equal to 105 degree. Measure angle Y is equal to 105 degree. Measure angle Z is equal to 75 degree. Now, we will start practice set 2.3. Question is, draw a line L. Take a point A outside the line. Through point A, draw a line parallel to line L. So, this is a construction question and we have doing the construction that is to draw a line parallel to a given line and we will be using set square for that. So, let's see how to draw. Question, 
it is practice set 2.3. Draw a line L. Take a point A outside the line. Through point A, draw a, draw a line parallel to line L. So first draw a line using ruler pencil. As it is a line, draw arrows from both the sides. Now name the line L. As we are using single letter, so that is small letter, one letter. Now draw point A outside the line. Draw point A, draw point, name it. Here we are using set squares. There are two set squares in your compass box, right? Yes, and if you see one of the angle of a set square is a right angle, 90 degree. Both the set squares you see. So they are nothing but right angle triangles, these set squares. Now you are going to position in this way, in cross. So keep first set square, base will be on the line and move it till you reach the point A. And another one keep it this way, hold this way. Second one move it till you reach the point A. And from the edge of the second draw a line. Draw arrow and name this line M. Because name is not given what name you to give to line. So you can use any letter. I used M. Now extend that line. So using the ruler, extend that line and draw arrow. So line M is parallel, the symbol of parallel to line L. Next question. Draw a line M. Draw a line N which is parallel to line M at a distance of 4 cm from it. So this question is different from the previous one we did. Previous one was line was given, point outside it. And we use set square for this. But this construction is different. Here distance is given. At which the, the, how much distance it is? 4 cm. So first we will draw line M. And then we have to draw line N which is parallel to line M at a distance of 4 cm from it. So children you are ready with your geometry box and other things. And you are going to do the construction along with me. So let's see the construction how to do it. Practice set 2.3. Draw a line M. So with the help of ruler, pencil, draw a line M. As it is a line, show arrows on both the sides. Name the line M. You have to draw a line N which is parallel to line M at a distance of 4 cm. So take point, two points on the line M. Point A, point B on the line M. With the help of protractor, we will draw perpendicular through both the points. So first through point A. Point A, keep protractor and 90 degree angle that is perpendicular. And we will draw perpendicular with the help of ruler. So perpendicular through the point A. Now perpendicular through the point B, 90 degree angle, keep protractor. With the help of ruler, draw the perpendicular. Draw arrow. As is a perpendicular, show 90 degree marking on both the sides. Now, line N, which is parallel to line M at a distance of 4 cm. So, with the help of ruler, compass, take 4 cm distance. Now, keep it on the point A, draw an arc on the perpendicular. On B, draw the arc. And name these points. S, P and Q. With the help of ruler, draw line P, Q. Show arrows and name the line N. In the question it is given N. Then write 4 cm. The line is at a distance of 4 cm. Line N is parallel to line M. 
which is at a distance of 4 centimeters. This is an assignment for you. Question is, draw a line L. Take a point T outside the line. Through point T, draw a line parallel to line L. This construction or drawing is similar to the first one we did using a set square. So first what you will do, you will draw a line with the help of ruler. Name this line as L. Then you take a point T outside the line. Then with the help of set squares. And I have shown you how to hold the set squares. You are going to draw line parallel to line L. So here children, this is an assignment question which you have to do. And we have completed our lesson here. Here we have completed our lesson. Chapter 2, Parallel Lines and Transversal. So children, this is related to equity. Max equity, which... Already you have been told the date 17th September. So this equity you are going to submit on 17th September. Okay, first thing is on a sheet of paper. That is better if you take drawing a plain sheet of paper or whichever the paper is available with you. A4 size paper or Fusque paper. First write the name on the paper. Name, roll number, SID number on the paper at the top and also when you will finish this assignment equity on the PDF file also you are going to name it. This equity is related to chapter 2 parallel lines and transversal and you have to refer test book page number 9. It is based on the properties of angles formed by two parallel lines and a transversal. So, this is your textbook page number 9. And it is has been mentioned there also. So, you can draw two parallel lines and a transversal. And I, we have learned how to draw two parallel lines in the construction. So, you draw two parallel lines at a distance of 5 cm. Or according to a sheet of paper 4 to 5 cm. And with the help of trace paper on another sheet again you draw a copy of it. So here I have drawn shown you 4 copies. According to our equity and requirement. Now on one set of parallel lines and transversal. You name them angle like here it is shown. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. These are the 8 different angles form we have seen. When two parallel lines are intersected by a transversal, eight angles are formed. Right? So this is on one set. Another set what you do is with the help of your compass and you take some distance of 1.5 cm or 2 according to your sheet. According to your parallel lines and draw a semicircle. You can see here semicircle, it is half circle. And they are the angles in linear pair. You can see them. These two angles which are formed are angles in linear pair. Their sum is 180 degree. Two different colors you have to take. So like this you draw on punch sheet. And cut it with the help of scissors. So like that you make two three sets. And now. We have to show corresponding angles. So, which are the corresponding angles? You know, four pairs of corresponding angles are formed. Any one pair of corresponding angles you choose. And the different colors which we have taken. Any one color you take and see where it is fitting it. Where it is coinc coinciding that is. If I have, you have taken this, I have taken this purple pink color. So, where it is coinciding? Other color? So, see. And then see both are they coinciding that is fitting so they are congruent. So you write observation that which pair of corresponding angles you have taken. For example I have taken here angle A and angle E right. Angle A and angle E. So you take which pair you are taking it and write what is your observation. 
Similarly, interior angles. So, interior angles when you show, you see where your colored paper is coinciding. Stick it. In the corresponding angles also, stick them. Here also, stick it. Another set. And see, now what is your observation? Which pair of interior angles you are taking? We know that two pairs of interior angles are found. So, which pair you are taking? Write your observation and what is your observation? Are they coinciding or what it is? And then write your final conclusion. That when two parallel lines are intersected by a transversal, the angles formed in each of the corresponding angles are dash. So, see what is, what is your observation and what is your conclusion, what you are concluding from it. Similarly, the angles formed in each pair of interior angles are dash. So, here we have to take only one pair of corresponding angles, one pair of interior angles only. Write your observation and I have shown you, you have your own creativity. You can show your creativity also children. Refer to textbook page number 9. This activity you have to submit on 17th September. Write your name on the sheet of paper. On one sheet you have to do. And in PDF file also name it. So do it activity. So thank you children. Sairam.